MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Major League Baseball on MLB Network is next. Clayton Kershaw, a Texas-born left-hander, gets the starting nod. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, Clayton Kershaw, he just breathes different air than everybody else. The best pitcher in the game of baseball. Good fastball, good changeup, good cutter, and a terrific curveball. What do you think about the Cy Young Award? He's always in the mix. He's good, he's strong, he's left-handed, and he's quite simply one of the greatest pitchers of all time. Into the box now, Josh Harrison. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. No balls and a strike to count. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit on the ground to third. Taken in by Brett. And that's the first out. A chance here to check out the starting lineup for the visiting Pirates. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Well, Matt, I'm going to be paying close attention to Starling Marte. I was talking about him earlier with some people. I kept telling him he's got some really good speed. If you watch him in this game, he's the type of guy, he's not going to shock you with his speed, but he can make an impact with his legs. We'll see if he gets that chance. Standing in, Adam Frazier, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Fastball in there for a called strike. Game time temperature, a comfortable 76 degrees. Missed with a slider. Kershaw. A 6-4 lefty. This is his 10th season at the major league level, so almost a decade, which is quite an accomplishment. Yeah, Matty, you ain't kidding right there. Ten years, we That's refer to that in the biz as hitting full pension. Now Kershaw delivers a 2-2. Oh, that hit him. Let's hope he's okay. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. You know, Dero as a pitcher, that could be so frustrating. You're taught to try to go out there and make quality pitches, and that was a really good pitch. And I would be willing to bet you he's surprised that that turned into an infield single. Yeah, at the end of the day, he's smiling. That hitter smiling, running down first base, knowing he's got an infield single right there. He has no business. He'll line out probably 15 times, but it won't even out. You take him when you can get him. Lots of room out there for Damon as he takes it for route number two. Coming to the plate now, Corey Dickerson. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Softly hit here to the left side. Great effort on the dive, but it's through into left. Well, that's got to be frustrating right there. You execute a pitch, a nice, good pitch right there. Batter's able to get a little lucky, stayed through it, caught it off the end of the bat. Not his best swing, but he's able to find a hole in the outfield. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. Frazier over at second, Dickerson on at first with two down. And two here it comes shoots this one over to first Bagwell has it and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over Pirates strand a couple the Dodgers coming up and we are scoreless Jamison Tyon a right hander from Florida gets the ball as the starter here Dan any thoughts Matt this guy is a big power arm Former first round draft pick by the Pittsburgh Pirates. And listen, he's what they look like. Big, strong guy. Three pitch things, 95 to 97 miles an hour with good life on his fastball. Overhand curveball and a straight changeup. The key to him, throwing strikes. If he's throwing strikes early, 
expect him to go deep into the game and he could rack up a pile of strikeouts. Now a moment for the Los Angeles Dodgers starting lineup. Mark what do you have on this group in front of the home crowd tonight. Well Matty we know this is a pitcher's park. The numbers bear it out. Look for the managers to play a part in this one. Hopefully the guys listened in the hitters meeting. They're going to stay up the middle big part of the yard. But when they get on look for some wheels in motion some execution trying to manufacture some runs. I think that's how this lineup will play it out. First pitch on its way. Oh look out hot shot to third and there are two away. Batting third. Third baseman. George. Stepping in Brett. George Brett first cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Brett has a history in coming through in the clutch moments, of course. It's always a little bit of a debate whether or not being clutch is actually a trait that a player possesses. But with him, there's no. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Dodgers retired on just four pitches. Still no score. Into the box now, Josh Bell. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The first baseman, number 55, John. First pitch coming. Here it is. A high fastball is in there. And a whiff at a good slider that time. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Those 0 2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. All right, guys, here's the defensive alignment for the Los Angeles Dodgers. And you talk about fitting a profile for a right fielder. Big surprise who brings the absolute bazooka to the game today. That is the right fielder. Don't look for anyone to test this guy. At the plate, Francisco Cervelli. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yeah. Change up in for a strike. No score here as we play inning number two. Behind 0 and 2 now. The next 0 2. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on it. Smith is up with it. Throw on to first to take care of him, and Kershaw is in control now, two away. Here's Gregory Polanco. His lifetime numbers against Kershaw. He's three for nine. He also has one home run. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Breaking balls in for a strike. Oh, he's got that beautiful 12 to 6 curveball, doesn't he? It's part of what makes him as good as he is, and, and he has a lot of confidence in it. He'll even throw it behind the count at times. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there. But if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further down. Maybe even potentially bounce the next one. Dives and he makes the catch. How about that for an exclamation point to the end of the inning? Another look at a gem at third base as this ball is speared midair. Through an inning and a half. No score on MLB Network. 
And next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter, Jay Bagwell. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. First delivery to him on the way. Hit hard on the ground to short. Scooped up. And that's out number one. Take a look at the Pittsburgh Pirates defensive lineup. And let's focus our attention on Josh Harrison. Basically your Swiss Army knife for a manager. The ability to play up the middle premium positions. Also both corners and carries a nice bat to boot. Now with the plate, Luis Gonzalez. And the pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. After it is Dickerson. He gets there, and that's the second out. That now at the hit. plate, Gary Sanchez. Gary. Gary Sanchez. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Owen won the count. Tyon is sort of a curious case as a starter. Usually doesn't walk many guys, but at times he ends up giving up his share of hits. The translation on that is that he throws a lot of strikes, but oftentimes they are hittable strikes. One of the keys, Matt, you'll have to watch from this guy. At, at times he kind of tiptoes, he tap dances around the strikes. And the third baseman is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Dodgers retired on just four pitches. We'll move to the third with no score. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Jamison Tyon, 9 1 and 2 do up. First pitch of the at bat. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Skied into very shallow right. Sandberg moving to his left, one out. Now batting. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Josh Harrison. First delivery to him on the way. There's a changeup over the outside corner. Now the 0-2 pitch little dribbler down the line that winds up foul here's Kershaw with another 0 2 a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap Gonzalez facing back at the track and just short of a home run this ball's off the wall the relay throw but he is in there with a triple well, when this thing left its bat, I thought it had the distance to get out of here, but it goes over the fielder's head and skips away in the bottom of the wall, allowing him to cruise into third. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. No score here, but a potential run is 90 feet away with one gone. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him. Well, their chances of pushing across the run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gonzalez on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. And we are tied nothing nothing. Stepping up to the plate Ozzie Smith seven eight and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys six up six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. 
Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. And there's one away. Batting eight. So striding in, Johnny Damon. Johnny Damon. First offering on its way. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. He pulls this one into right, but he'll barely have to move out there in right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Adding so coming Kershaw. to the plate, Clayton Kershaw. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. That's a hit, the first in this game for the Dodgers. Check out the lefty as he absolutely jumps on that first pitch and hammers it to right. Got what he was looking for and put a good swing on it. Stepping in now, Al Kalon popped him up. Bell is there, and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. One left for L.A. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. So digging in now, Corey Dickerson, a base hit in his first trip. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Popped him up. Brett is there for it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. How about it? So the base is empty here with one away. And standing in here is the very dangerous third baseman, Evan Longoria. Hey. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Longoria, or just Longo as he's often referred, it was selected in the first round or in the first year player draft of 2006. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes, and the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead in the count if you're a pitcher, because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. And in a one two count, you might be sitting off speed. And what happens? He gets the fastball, and he can't catch up to the express. In there, strike one. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Pirates. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Now in the box, Ryan Sandberg Leading comes into this at eight. bat 0 for 1 second, in the ballgame. Ryan Sandberg. Here's the pitch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. I mean, this is the classic case of ambush tactics at its finest, but this is getting a little ridiculous. I'd like to see some of these guys in the lineup work the count a little bit and find themselves on base and maybe drive this guy's pitch count. Marte is right there, one down. Number five. Digging in now, George Go. Brett hit it hard right. but lined out in his first at bat. High in the air out to center field. Marte is under it. Two gone. Now batting. First baseman. In yeah. now, Jeff Bagwell. First pitch on its way. Back up the middle. 
And that finds its way through for a base hit. So he picks on the first pitch here and is able to extend the inning. Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guy swinging first pitch. Now, one of the things you want to do, D. Rose, you have to try to get ahead with the first pitch. You want to throw one of the first two pitches for strikes. Unfortunately, sometimes when you bring the ball in the strike zone, you're bound to give up some base hits, but hopefully he can minimize the damage here. Into the box now, Luis Gonzalez, as he sends it on the ground to first. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, after back-to-back two-out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate, a crooked number going on for him. In now, Gary Sanchez. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. The 0-1 on its way. High in the air down the right field line. Polanco on the run. Into the corner, he makes the catch to end the inning. Dodgers strand a couple through four still tied nothing nothing here's the catcher Francisco Cervelli leading off with a pirate catcher Francisco Cervelli first pitch of the at bat there's a strike Rounded down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Here's Kershaw's 0 and 2 offering down the third baseline, but this will wind up foul, still 0 and 2. Here's Kershaw with another 0 2. Count remains at 0 and 2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Tried to backdoor him and lock him up with a curveball right there. Pretty good pitch, but he didn't quite get it to come back all the way to the corner. That's tough to do for most guys. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Lots of room out there for Damon as he takes it for out number two. The pitcher number two. Now batting, Jamison Tyon. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight, and mechanically, he looks really consistent and fluid to me. Behind 0 and 2 now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. One, two, three, go the Pirates. Halfway home, still no score. Striding in once again, Ozzie Smith. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ozzie Smith. First pitch of the at bat. Lifted the other way to left center. After it is Dickerson. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. Now batting number 18, the center fielder. Leadoff man retired Damon. now for Johnny Damon. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Marte is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Settling in now, Clayton Kershaw. One for one after a single this first time up. 
Here comes the first pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. So he delivers with two away, and the bottom of the fifth marches on. Hey, I've been impressed with this guy. Not only has he thrown the ball well, but now he's mixing in a base hit late in the game, giving his manager options. Whether or not he wants to pinch run, keep him in there, go to the relief. I mean, he's opened up a whole weaponry box for the manager. Standing in now, Al Kaline. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. Up next for the Dodgers, second baseman, Ryan Sandberg. Digging in, Ryan Sandberg, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First pitch on its way. Line drive to left. Dickerson is there, and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. Dodgers strand a couple. Sixth inning coming up. Still zip, zip. Josh Harrison stands in. One for two with a triple so far in this one. Second baseman. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. I'm surprised we're seeing so many late swings on fastballs. If there's one rule of thumb in the game, get to the heat. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The 0 2 delivery. Fastball three. called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. He swings and grounds it to short. And the sixth inning is progressing quickly here. Now two away. Center fielder number six. Into the box. Starling Marte. No hits to this point. First offering on its way. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. This one's down to third. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. And that means that Corey Dickerson will bat with two out. Hey, he had just retired 10 straight until that base hit right there. That's into almost fourth inning of him not ever seeing the stretch. We'll see how he does with a runner on now. Into the box, Corey Dickerson. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Marte leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. And that's taken for a cold strike two. He's looking pretty passive here hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Two two one more time. Yeah. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Pirates leave one. We are still scoreless. Ready once again. George Brett. Lee He's over two in the ball game so far. First pitch of the at bat right. on its way. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Oh, this is a great way to start the inning. Now the go-ahead run is on second. A base hit away from coming across. I know it's only the sixth inning, but you'd love to claim the lead right now and let your bullpen carry the load the rest of the way. Into the box now, Jeff Bagwell. 
And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. At the wall, he leaps and makes a spectacular catch. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. That was a pretty spectacular catch right there. A lot of guys mistimed that jump because they're worried about the wall coming on. But he got it just right and hauled it in. Great stuff. First pitch coming. Here it is. No balls in one strike. Now the 0 1. Way in front of that fastball. Oh man, he took a swing and a half at that one. I think some frustration is creeping into these guys, so he might have just been trying to get his guys on the board with one swing. Here's the 0 and 2. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Polanco looking up. And they take the lead. It's gone. to straight away right field and the Dodgers move in front now two to nothing. I think if this pitch would have been a little higher and in on his hands it would have been effective but he left this one belt high big mistake he's a guy that will feast on belt high pitches on the inner half which is pretty obvious now. That ball's headed for the gap in left center he's got a base hit possibly more. The relay, and he will beat the throw into second as he slides in safely with a one-out double. Just goes to show if you're going to throw that two-seam fastball away, which I don't think is the best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out on the corner, so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked. Stepping in now, Ozzy Smith. Line drive to left. That's in there. Base hit. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Hey, with that base hit right now, the lead's 3-0. And the now way their pitcher is going, Dero, that might hold up in this one. Yeah, and you're well aware of it, Dan, as an offense, just trying to put those extra runs across the board. You can take a look at the guy on the slab, towing the slab. He's on fire right now. Now here's Clint Hurdle out of the Pittsburgh dugout on his way to the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So he'll depart after five and a third innings of work and with no shot to win the decision. Stephen Brault enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Standing in now, Johnny Damon as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And that's through for a hit. So here's the Dodgers pitcher, Clayton Kershaw. Three across so far in the inning and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. Grounded up the first baseline to second for one. On to the pitcher covering it first, and it's your textbook 3-6-1 double play that'll get him out of the inning. But they strike for three in the inning, two on this two-run home run. The five, six, and seven hitters to start the seventh. It's now 3-0 Los Angeles. Back here at Dodger Stadium. The men in blue leading in this one as we get set to begin the seventh. But before we do, let's check out the game summary to this point. Now to the plate, Evan Longoria. He'll start the seventh in what's been a fast-moving pitcher's duel today. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound.
Swift delivery to him on the way. Popped him up. Bagwell has room in foul territory. Makes the play one away. The first baseman, number 55. Josh Bell the next to hit. Here comes the first pitch. Drilled to the right side. And that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one out single. Man, I watched Chipper Jones for years, one of the best switch hitters of all time. Work on his craft under the tunnel. It's not easy to put the time in, but bottom line is one of the reasons why they do it is the ability to work the whole field. Into the box, Francisco Cervelli. Fastball right back to the mound. One there on the first. It's a double play as their woes continue. The inning is over. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. Bottom of the seventh inning upcoming in L.A. Get up and stretch. It's the Dodgers three and the Pirates nothing. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Al Kaline. He singled his last time up. Out, Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ground ball foul down the left side. Brault, a left hander who goes an even six feet. He was selected in the 11th round back in the draft of 2013. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Now, meanwhile, here, this ball's hit fairly well down that left field line, and it's going to stay fair. It's a home run. So a solo shot down the line in left as the Dodgers have increased their lead now four to nothing. Just an absolutely amazing home run there. Certainly worthy of the show track treatment. And as you can see, 114 miles an hour off the bat, and that should give you a pretty good indication as to how well he connected on that swing. In now, Ryan Sandberg. Ryan. Swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. We could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. The wind up and the 0 1. And this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Mm, definitely had the distance but it winds up a foul ball. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the Alabama. inning. Third baseman. Striding George. into the box, Brett. George Brett. He came across to score after doubling in his last at-bat. First offering on its way. Swing and a liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Boy, talk about being a game of inches, d -Roll. That was a bullet just out of the reach of the third baseman. Yeah, third base is just a reactionary position, kind of a la goalie in hockey. He didn't have much chance there. He tried to make a play, get it above his head, but he was unable to get there. Into the box now, Jeff Bagwell. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 0 1 on its way. Now a shot to center field. Back goes the center fielder, but this ball has plenty behind it, and it's a home run. Two run shot to straightaway center as they pile on it's now six to nothing yeah and that's what you call a dream scenario or an absolute nightmare depending on your viewpoint a power pitcher on the bump and a power hitter at the plate a plus b equals see you later it's simple math folks Luis Gonzalez will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here this was a big blow a two run home run that really got his guys going First pitch of the at-bat on its way. 
Now a swing, and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second now, out. Catcher, Gary Sanchez. Now at the plate, Gary Sanchez. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. The 0 1 pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. Three runs already home here. Smoked on the ground, left side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Another good inning here for the Dodgers. Hey, not everybody leaves early. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Digging in, Gregory Polanco. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. David Freeze will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. David Freeze. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Got him swinging on the fastball there. David Freeze goes down for out number two in the top half. Well, you could tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. There's a changeup over the outside corner. No runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. This one's down to third. Oh, look at Brett. He gathers the throw. Touche, sir. They call it the hot corner for a reason, and this is a beauty to take us to break. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Michael Feliz enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Digging in the switch hitter, Ozzie Smith. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. First pitch of the at-bat. Softly hit out to short. And this will be flagged down easily for the first out of the inning. Now batting, number 18, the at the plate, Johnny Damon. It was a single for him in his last at bat. First delivery to him on the way. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Six runs, 13 hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Yeah, you ain't kidding, Matty. Dan, what does this feel like when balls are just flying out of the yard? Hero, it's just one of those days when you're out there as a pitcher going, oh, I wish I was somewhere anywhere else but on that bump right now. This has the makings of being a long game. Got him. Didn't look to me like that was much of a protect swing with two strikes. No, he was trying to go yard two strikes or not. Kind of looks bad if you strike out like he did, though. I'm sure his manager would have liked for him to focus on getting on base. The bouncer to the left side. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Dodgers down in order, but they're on top by a count of six to nothing. Another nice evening here in L.A. as we welcome you back to this production of baseball on MLB Network. At the plate, Adam Frazier. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line hard to the left side. Foul. 
into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Zero. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. I mean, this offense has struggled because they haven't been able to make the adjustment. He stayed staunch on the outer half, and these guys have not worked the ball the other way. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Center fielder number six. Starling. Stepping up now, Starling Marte. Last time through was a base hit. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's Kershaw's 0 and 2 offering. Tap down the line. Gonna be a tough play. On to first, and now the Pirates are down to their final out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Corey Dickerson. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Lifted down the line and left. And no one will track it down. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. A 6 nothing shutout to finish off tonight's game. Los Angeles wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Clayton Kershaw earns the victory on the mound. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak, and the entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody. Here now is our final line score. For the Pirates, no run, five in, no error, and left five to nothing. Time to the ball game, two hours.